Good morning, good afternoon, evening. This is what's happening on Monday. Hold on. We can all be joyous for me. Lucky, lucky, lucky. Woohoo! I don't care who sees what. You know, if people want to find you bad enough, they will. OMG! I'm so happy. Gosh. Look. This is, I have my house. I'm like, oh my God. Um, somebody just gave me this and it's welting or the wind in here. But look, it's a heart. It's a rose. Isn't that cute? Uh, anyway, I have a house. I'm free. One thing I gotta worry about is that neighbor in my business. I mean, that is some serious stuff. She's up in my business. You can only have a guest for 10 days. The landlord says that means period. That's kind of like, you know, the person stays 10 days. What about three months from now? Can't they come back over? It's, you know, it's BS. I don't really care. I really don't care. I'm in a slumlord neighborhood. I'm in the barrio. I'm learning what the barrio means. I'm not used to this gangsterhood stuff. I mean, I've got the banditos, the whatever route. Sorry, I'm happy. Anyway, I'm a mess. I'm eating in the homeless lines. I can't watch TV. I miss Ellen. I miss Ellen. It's not fair. I've tried to enter her contest and I can't even do that. I have no TV, but I have a house and that's what I'm grateful for. I'm eating in the homeless shelters and the car is getting ready to mess up and I don't care because why? Number one, I got a bus pass. But here you gotta pay. Four words you didn't have to pay. So anyway, hold on. Now I'm a, I had to move my car. I'm over here at one of the resource centers, uh, the food stamp office. And MHMR is next to it. I got all the crazies around me, so it's really just what I want to be around. I am learning a whole new cultural education. They from Fort Worth. The homeless people just roam rampant. They harass them, though. They really harass them. Um, Fort Worth kind of keeps it. I guess they run them off and put them where they're supposed to, you know, be over there off of Mission Center and all that. But they work these street corners all over the place. You see them everywhere. You don't see it quite like you do in Fort Worth. Anyway, um, I got my place. I'm not used to this lavario because I am white and there's more Hispanics not being racist. My neighbor is a uh, female African American with a white boyfriend and a couple, but it's just that everybody's in your business and I am not I'm not into this. Especially since I got the neighbor on the phone, you know? It's just kinda she, she's helpful. But I don't have I don't I don't want anybody in my business, you know what I mean? So all I can think of is someone special, a couple people, not just one or two, a bunch of people that I've met on that want me to go to California. Then I got another one that wants me to go up to Chicago. I could not ever do Chicago. That is too cold, too street city. I'm an island girl, honey. I'm an ocean baby. That's all there is to it. So, anyway, I'm going to sit here and... Uh, ponder my new residency i i don't even have the heart to unbox all those boxes and they i've worked hard for the last four days to get all that in really if you think about it i have a place y'all i'm so happy I feel like my face is flushed it probably is I'm tired i've been up every day just bumping and grinding those boxes but anyway i got it y'all i did it i did it i did it i did it it's hard to even I get housing down here. I don't care like what sewer pipe breaks. I might bitch and gripe. <laughs> Sorry. But I don't have to deal with what I've had to go through. I have my own place. And my other neighbor beside me in the duplex, she doesn't speak a lick of English. She don't want it in my business and I don't want it. I love y'all. I'm so happy. Bye, y'all.